One Piece recently came out on Netflix and it is an absolute smash with it smashing all the ratings on Netflix and it also breaking various Netflix records. And when you sit down and watch the series, it's very evident to see why. And I've got to admit, when they first announced that they were doing a live action version of One Piece, it did come across as a little weird because when you watch the cartoon, it doesn't seem conducive to live action filmmaking and seems like it will just come across as quirky, strange, and a little too exaggerated for it to really captivate your attention. Do a live action of One Piece. I was like, how? However, this series actually leaned into that exaggeration and leaned into the quirkiness, and it actually kind of worked. And I've got to admit, the first few minutes watching the show, it was a little jarring, but as soon as the story captivates you and you start to follow it along, you really do get swept up by this show, and you look past the exaggeration and actually like the way that they're doing it. And I've got to say, that's exactly what I thought would be weird with the show, but when I watched it, that is exactly what actually worked. However, not all people are happy with this show, with various critics coming out and saying that they relied too much on the source material, and that the show was too focused on trying to honour the source material and honour the fans to actually create a good story. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? When in my opinion, that's exactly what you're meant to do with a live action remake. Because when you're doing a live action remake, you're retelling a story that already had a massive fan base. And so when you go and tell that story, you have to honor the source material, otherwise those fans are gonna be angry. And the whole reason you're even making it in the first place is because the fans have been asking for it and the fans want to watch it. So your first priority should be honoring those fans and the way in which you honor those fans is by honoring the source material. So I don't understand the critics that are coming out and saying that that was what was bad with the show. Because what do they really want? Because when you look at other live action remakes, especially coming from Disney and the recent Witcher series from Netflix, they disrespected the source material and that was exactly what was wrong with the movies and the show. And that's why fans came out and they were angry. And Disney continued to fail time and time again with the way that they dishonor the fans and dishonor the source material and no one wants to watch that. So I don't understand why it's a bad thing that One Piece has honored the source material because I would expect that that's what you're meant to do. And especially when you go and watch something like The Witcher Season 3 or The Little Mermaid or this upcoming Snow White remake where these companies take an original story that has a huge fan base and use it to push their own ideological opinions through the show and not honor the actual story that the original source material was telling. Sage, what do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937 and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be, and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. And so it's just a really incredible story for, I think, young people everywhere to see themselves in. And so in my opinion, I think that's the best thing that One Piece did, and that's why everyone's so captivated by this show, because it's the first time in a while that we've actually got a live-action remake that honors the source material and this is a huge testament as to why people should do that because the success of this show should be a lesson to other companies like Disney to take notice and see that by honoring the source material and honoring the fans your show or your movie will be successful and I'll admit I'm not the biggest fan of live action remakes or remakes as a whole as I just think they're the same story told again and I kind of find them pointless but I do understand that it's just not my thing and that a lot of people out there really do like live action remakes and really do like modern remakes with modern technology, but they just want to see the same story told again. So I do have the common decency to know that when you're doing a live action remake, you have to honor the source material. You have to tell the original story the exact way that it was because that's what the fans want to see. And while I'm not a fan of live action remakes and I just don't like remakes, I do understand that the people that are interested and there are millions of people out there and there's definitely a market for it, deserve to see the show honoring the source material and deserve to see the story the exact way they remember it on screen. But honestly, with One Piece, it is just refreshing to see something put audience first, because it seems like nowadays so many stories and so many movies put themselves above the audience and act like they're going to teach the audience something, or that the audience needs to learn from their film, or that they know more than the audience and they're better than the audience, whereas this doesn't come across as that arrogant, this comes across as them just wanting to do right by the fans, and the interviews with the cast and the crew definitely reinforce this as well. Yeah, of course. 
course there was pressure. We want to honor the fans of One Piece and Ichiro Oda. And while there is some politics through it, it doesn't come at the expense of the story. It doesn't come before the story. They're not trying to push their political beliefs and their political opinions instead of telling a good story. It seems like with One Piece, they understood that the thing that comes first is the source material and the fans, and the thing that comes second is a great story, but you already have that by honoring the source material. And then behind that, they layered it with whatever politics, whatever beliefs they have and they wanted to get across in their story, but that's fine when the story is actually good. Because I think a lot of people out there are angry because there's politics in movies, whereas I think there's definitely a place for it, but it just can't come in expense of the story. And that's where One Piece definitely nailed it, and that's why I think so many people are captivated by this show. And Netflix definitely seemed to have something going for them, with Wednesday being an absolute hit, and while The Witcher Season 3 was a bit of a letdown, when they're on and when they're good, they're really good. Because I really loved Wednesday and I really loved how it honored the source material and the story that it got across. And it seems that they've done it again with One Piece. And it's very similar in the sense that it honors the source material, but also gives you something different. It also uses modern technology to really make it captivating and entertaining and something fresh, even though you've already seen the story before. And so I really love that about the way that Netflix is going about their live action remakes. And while there was that hiccup with The Witcher, while they didn't honor the source material with The Witcher, when you look at One Piece and you look at something like Wednesday, when they do honor it, they really hit it out the ballpark and they really seem to know what they're doing when it comes to these remakes and these series. And when you compare it to other companies like Disney, I'm definitely a lot more optimistic for Netflix moving forward than I am for Disney because Netflix seemed to learn from their mistakes and they seem to learn from their failures, take it on board and actually implement it in their next shows. And that's why Netflix is constantly improving. And that's why when their series work, they work really well. Whereas at Disney, it's like they get told what to do and they get told where they're going wrong, but then they double down on their mistakes. ...is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago and therefore it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power. Uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Whereas Netflix definitely seemed to be learning from them. However, I hope they don't see the success from One Piece and double down on anime live action remakes, because that is something that a lot of these studios tend to do, where they see one thing works and then they try and capture lightning in a bottle over and over again. And of course, that just never pans out. That just never actually works. And that's not what the fans want to see. So I hope they do leave it at One Piece because this was a great series. And while I'm sure they'll do a season two, I don't know if they should double down on a whole bunch of anime remakes because that could lead to a bigger mistake for Netflix, following in the footsteps of other companies like Disney and Warner Brothers. But what are your thoughts on One Piece? Let me know down below in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.